Kuz does um, who approaches everything with a type of rigor and in terms of research, in terms of actually looking and thinking about so much stuff in terms of what is possible within the the history of a material, but also what it could do as a form. And um, this is, it was such an honor and looking at your work and thinking, wow, look at, look how great that you've made that form and that made that cut. And um, so I'm gonna not talk about your work too much, but I'll let you, but it was really just a wonderful, um, well-researched, extremely deliberate, extremely like considered way of making. And uh, thank you for the kind introduction. Uh, hi everyone, I appreciate the opportunity to speak here today and I'm honored to be shortlisted for the Avengers Prize. I would like to take a moment to thank my partner, my friends, and my tutors for always trying to understand my practice. Um, before I discuss more in depth about the Ship Mountain Project, I want to give people a quick overview of my practice. Um, drawing inspirations from my family's deep roots in fishery and manual labor, my identity as an islander and part of Chinese diaspora, and my extensive travel experiences. My practice delves into topics concerning the fishing industry, labor market, power structures related to gender and class, and leisure tourism in rural area. My works um, span various mediums, including object making, writing, social activism, and actions, offering a multi-layered exploration of my heritage and its intersection with contemporary issues. On a side note, I also curate and organize Mandarin speaking critique as an artist. Um, the, Ship Mountain, the shortlist project Ship Mountain is a literal translation of my hometown, Zhoushan Archipelago. This project uses the nature of archipelago to construct a decentralized non hierarchical framework for organizing, uh, developing, and exhibiting my practice. Instead of trying to construct a logical narrative, I tend to uh, create poetic coexistence and facilitate a space for observing potential correlations. Um, I've created an evolving list, as well as Shea Mountain Archive, which I'm holding at the moment. That includes a range of ideas, writing, material, and imagery as clue slash documentation for myself and others. Uh, so this is uh, Shea Mountain Archive. This is Shea Mountain List on the uh, etched copper plate, uh, on a piece of paper, and the original Shea Mountain List, which is not uh, updated and not categorized using alphabetical order. Okay. Uh, in the current state of Ship Mountain Project, I address performativity and masculinity within the fishing industry and explore the personal and public relationship with labor in mainland China. I've also discussed the romanticization of rural space and its relationship with tourism. Here are some of the different scaled objects where some of them speaks to the topics I mentioned above. But I'll try to not uh, explain each work. Uh, so this work is called You're Just Speaking. It's a metal cutout. It's like a photo standing I made using rusty metal and wood. This is a, a st installation based work called The War is Never Innocent. This is a metal sculpture made with a gift from my friend and a steel. Uh, on the left, it's a found image of SS Chusen, which is a British P&O ship that's named after my hometown in, not in Mandarin, but in local dialects, which I found to be quite interesting. And on the right is a collaboration work with my friend Yulin. Uh, it's called An Island Flag and slash a flag island. Uh, this work is called Synthetic Fishing. Yeah, that's me, all right. Um, it's work that's made before Ship Mountain Project, but for me, it kind of uh, works within the framework of this project, so I include it. Um, uh, ship. And uh, 
and the map. Um, other than the concept that exploration, I also experimented quite a lot with materiality of familiar things and tried to create a vocabulary of material charged with pre-existing concepts and emotions, including salt, rust, metal, and nets. Uh, so this is the installation work made. Uh, so I sewed this net and I crystallized salt on it. And on the right hand side, it's, it's a salt pie which is made with salt and starch baked in an oven. And salt net again. And um, rust and spray paint on salt pie. Um, this is experimentation with rust, uh, color dye, and metal. This is uh, uh, using rust as a material to print on metal, which I'm quite proud of this technique. Um, after graduating, I wish to continue my ongoing research project, Ship Mountain, by working on the sub-project, Ship Mountain, Are You On Board? Question mark, part one, an investigation into becoming a distant water fishing ship crew member. It's a really long title. Uh, this project will focus on the work, working condition of distant water fishing crew members and the recruitment process, which involves various stakeholders, such as local government, recruitment, uh, unemployed use, maritime labor agency, and distant water fishing companies. Through this project, I aim to produce a series of poetic yet concrete artworks and writings. Uh, thank you for these incredible opportunities, and I look forward to share more about my work with you in the future. Thank you to both our artists. Just to say, I know how hot it is. Do come and sit on the floor down here if anyone wants to. There is sort of...